Okay, check out the flow. Got a bit of a standing wave going there with the MP40s. I'm also pulsing the ocean sea wave. You can see it's turning there, but it's also pulsing. It's making a nice bit of flow on the top. Look at that. little update on the miracle mud and the life source you can see there's not really much cyano i did have some patches of cyano on the bottom glass and you can see that's all pretty much gone now i do have some um, update on my parameters as well that i'll have to go through But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results. I have just cleaned the glass and also the back weir as well. But I didn't touch the bottom glass. And down into the sump. There's no change down there this week. Miracle Mud's still doing its job. Still running the carbon. I'm also dosing a phosphate remover and I'll explain when I get to the parameters why I'm dosing that again. That's a better shot there of the wave and the ocean sea wave. It's working really well. Lots of good random flow in the tank now and it goes all the way over to my frags, gives them a blast but then they get a break when it starts turning over this side and that's plenty for them to recover. And then it comes back and it gets another blast. But yeah, I'm very happy with the results of the um, flow in my tank at the moment from the Ocean Sea Wave and the two MP40s. The lights are quite white at the moment. I've put them to 40% again. It's so much easier to film. The fish look great like this as well. And it probably comes across a little bit better on the TV than all the blues. Unfortunately, the corals don't look as good with the blues and the orange filter. But the fish look amazing. Look at the copper band, the colors on that. And the male wreckfish, the purples, the pinks. Okay, I wanna talk a little bit about my parameters. I sent off an ICP test um, this week and it only took about 24 hours to come through. The reef sediments guys are so quick, really good. Um, also, I'm well surprised of how accurate my home test kits are. And I did these tests last week and you can check. Uh, my alkalinity was 8.6 and my ICP came back at 8.6. And, you know, that is so accurate. But it's not just that. It's also my calcium. My calcium was 420 and the ICP was 419. So that's also very close. And um, just checking my magnesium was also 1450 on my test. And on the ICP test, it came back at 1460. So you can see that my testing is really accurate on alkalinity, calcium and magnesium. But it changes when you get to the nutrients 
you know, my nutrients, I always thought my nitrates were really high and I tested 35 and the ICP came back at 19. So that's quite a big difference there. I'm happy with 19. I can run my fish tank and my corals all day long at 19. And I've been trying to, to get it down when really um, it's okay. My phosphate, on the other hand, is a completely different story. I thought that was the one under control, but it's not. That's 0.3, my phosphate level, which is super high. It's all in the red. And I stopped dosing the phosphate remover because I wanted to up my phosphate level um, in line with my nitrates so they were balanced to get rid of the cyano. But I realized um, when I saw the ICP test, it was the other way around. My nitrates were fine and I needed to reduce my phosphates. So I put a couple of mils of phosphate remover in and I'm now reducing my phosphates down to sort of 0.1. I'm also dosing the coral snow and I'm doing it this way so I can get right into the gaps of the turkey baster, get the coral snow right in there. And between this, the muds and the phytoplankton, I've pretty much got on top of the cyano and with the nutrients um, going the right way now, because now I'm reducing my phosphates. And now the ugly algae are gone, I can concentrate on growing corals and look at the colors on this one here. And the tenuous, look at them growing doing really well now. At the end of the video, I'm also going to put my ICP results up. So if you do want to have a look at the end of the video, go through all my trace elements. Um, the salinity was high, it was 36. Um, well, that I was testing and on the ICP it also said 36. So I have been reducing that by taking out some salt water and adding RO to reduce it back down to 35. And that's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, please like and hype. It does go a long way to helping out the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.